My name is Val and today I'm gonna show you one very useful method how you can create any rhythmic pattern you want. If you feel stuck in patterns which you usually play and you wanna go out from them or you wanna add some structure to your patterns and understand how they were created, this lesson is for you. So let's get started. First of all you should learn about counting. I think 90% of all music in the world count on 4 beats. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It sounds very natural for us and it's, I think it's more common time signature in, in music. In this lesson I will show all the examples in 4 bits, but you can use this system in any other time signature as well. So the pattern in 4 bits I will count like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So I add ends between the numbers. And we will play with right hand, we play on 1, 2, 3, 4. And with our left hand we play ends between the numbers. Let me just show you this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and we make alternative movement we always change our hand play right left right left start with our right hand if we are right handed so with left hand if we are left handed next we're gonna talk about the ghost notes and accents to play ghost notes, we make very gently, very soft sound, like this. Just a little bit touching the handpan. The main things we just need to keep this movement. Alright. Accent, it's a strong, loud sound. We can play it with tech sound or here with slap sound here or we can add, play it with notes with ding as well to play ghost notes we, we should not play like this just very soft movement to play accent we make big movement okay let's combine ghost note and accent together we start play with ghost note and then we add only one accent to the bar. Usually hand pen patterns start from, from the ding. So let's put this one accent on the first beat on the ding with our right hand and other sound we will play with ghost note. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, let's put one more accent to the bar with the tech sound. And there is very good exercise. We can add it on the second beat, on the third beat, on the fourth beat, then add it on the ends. So all the variation. We leave this accent on ding on the first beat. And then let's add one more accent with tech sound on the second beat. Also add notes. Okay, next ends accent on the three.
next accent on the fourth. One and two and three. Then let's try to play accent on the left hand. Accent after one on the end. One and. Accent on the end after two. One and two and three. Accent after three. One and two and three. Last one, accent after four. You can notice that an accent with left hand is a little bit more complicated than accent with right hand, but practice slowly, count with your voice and I'm sure you will get it soon. When you practice this exercise, you start at very very slow, counting with your voice, then you, when you already can feel this pattern, you can increase the tempo and then you can feel it more, because uh, in high tempo it's it's more easy to feel the pattern, but hard to play this. So that's why you start slowly, then you speed up the tempo and then you can just relax and play this. If we add just one more accent to the bar, it already will sound like simple pattern. So let me just show you some of examples which I like to play.
can add two, three, four, five more eggs into the bar, how many you want, and the pattern will sound more complicated and more interesting. The one thing that I like to do it's uh, just put some random accents, like three, four eggs into the bar, and then try to play this pattern. Let me just do this now. Uh, I will play accent on the dink on the one, then on the two with right hand, and then uh, on the three and I will play three and, and then on the end after four. So like one and two and three and four and. Now let me play this. <laughs> one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So first I played with counting to understand the pattern how it sounds and then I just catch the groove like So after I, I felt this groove I don't need to count anymore I just keep, keep this sound in my mind and continue playing So uh, Let's put some note instead of tag sound. Like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Yeah, it can be like this. So you can experiment with it, like find the right note, right sound which you like and then create a new rhythmic pattern. Thank you so much for watching me, I hope this lesson was useful for you. And of course there are a lot of other rhythmic systems which will help you to understand rhythm to make new patterns, which I can explain in the next video. Please feel free to ask me any question if you don't understand something. And thank you.